Hey everyone, it's Ryan here with another movie review. Um, I've just got back from watching Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, which turns out is a 20 year sequel to the original Jumanji movie with uh, Robin Williams. Uh, I do believe it's... I believe Kirsten Dunst is in there as well, like a very young Kirsten Dunst. I can't remember who the, the kid is though. Um, but anyway, um, so... This one takes place directly after the end of the first one. If you haven't watched the first one, um, it did come out 20 years ago. So if I say spoiler, it's your own fault for not watching it for 20 years. Um, so essentially, after they beat the game, uh, they then try and uh, bury it. And turns out it's on a beach. And the way the first one ends is, uh, it basically, you can hear the beat of the game. Because uh, that's sort of like how it draws people in. It has like a certain drum beat going on. Uh, but you can hear it in the at the beach. I think there's like a little bit shows up or something. Um, and then the way this one plays off is someone find like a random kid finds one and goes, "Hey, look what I found! I thought you might like this." Um, and then uh, he opens it. and says, "Oh, who plays board games nowadays?" And like goes onto his video game. And then it changes to a game cartridge. And he gets sucked in. Then goes to twenty years later, and you've got your um, four main characters essentially. Uh, which are like the biggest oddballs you can get. You've got, obviously you've got the nerd who does the homework for the football player, American football player. Um, then you've got sort of the outcast girl that doesn't really want to do sports, she just wants to get educated. Then you have the girl that's obviously all about her appearance and about having phones, taking selfies and all that stuff. Uh, they all have their own ways of being sent to detention. Uh, that's where they all meet and then they get uh, put into some area to basically work and through their detention. Uh, find this uh, old games console with the Jumanji game cartridge in, load it up, select the characters. Next you know they've been sucked into the game. Because uh, in the original one the game came to life into the real world. This one they've been sucked from the real world into the game which is a nice twist. Um, then they're all different characters so you've got uh, the nerd becomes the rock so that's quite funny. Uh, the football player who's like a really big football player becomes Kevin Hart. Uh, obviously they have different names but I'm just basically going with the actors. Uh, the girl that's interested in selfies and the appearance of a body and everything becomes Jack Black. Uh, that's pretty, that's quite hilarious as well. And then you've got, um, I think her name's, so you've got Spencer who's the nerd, you've got, I can't remember what his name is but he goes by Fridge, he's the, um, the football player. You've got Bethany who's the one who cares about appearance and you've got Martha who's sort of the, uh, sort of outcast-ish one. Uh, she becomes, I think her name is Ruby Roundhouse. Uh, basically she's, uh, she's played by Karen Gillan, so obviously she's like this super attractive fit fighter thing. Um, you know, like the, the typical uh, female characters in some games. Um, but yeah, essentially they'll figure out uh, that they're stuck in the game, have to go through levels. They've all got special abilities that do come in hand, like come very uh, helpful. Uh, but yeah, it's it's quite for honest, it's quite funny. Uh, even if the film was bad, Kevin Hart and The Rock together, hilarious as it is. Um, I actually really enjoyed this movie. Sometimes when they do like reboots or really sequels, they tend to be terrible. Uh, and normally just better left untouched. This one was actually quite funny. Um, it's a really nice story to it. Essentially, they have to return the jewel that was stolen from the bad guy. Um, and then restore Jumanji essentially and then yell the name again sort of like they do I think they do that in the first one uh, well they don't really yell it, he literally just says the name like, I guess in the middle obviously just whispers Jumanji and says oh they all get sucked in um, yeah this, this one's actually a lot of fun uh, obviously a lot of hilarious stuff obviously when they like learn their abilities and all their weaknesses and stuff like that it's really good um, yeah uh, I'd say, I'm not going to spoil anything but I'll say that it's hilarious, Kevin Hart and The Rock are hilarious Jack Black is especially hilarious in this. Um, I would definitely recommend you go watch it. I recommend you watch the first one. Uh, it's not there's not too much from it that will like make it important in this one, but it'll be nice to have the references and sort of get where it, uh, the film's coming from. Um, I'm going to give it an eight out of ten. I like I said, I thought it was really funny. Um, I thought it was a sequel that, despite the fact it's been about twenty years, it's still really good. Um, they do keep the um, originality of Chimanji as well. Um, yeah, I definitely recommend you go watch it. This is pretty much my review on Chimanji. It was just me saying about how I thought it was hilarious. Um, it's, like I said, a really good story, really good characters. Um, 
it's nice the, that they got the outcast that comes to one else and then they sort of figure out how the game works and try to work around that. But yeah, that's why the Jumanji, let me know what you think if you watched it. Now, please see you in the next one. Bye.